Awami League does not have the tyranny to come to power by selling countries. Well, says BM opens Gora Shal Fertilizer Factory. BNP has deprived people of a treatment by closing the community clinic, says Prime Minister, votes to make a liberal free by 2030. BNP's fourth first blockage under rare public transport movement seen normal law enforcer on a law to avert untoward situation. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Fahani Yasmin with your news of today watching headlines. Now the details. Alamalika does not have the tyranny to come to power by selling the country's resources, says Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. She said BNP Jamaat should take the farmer for fertilizer. The Premier said this while inaugurating Southeast Asia's largest eco friendly Gurashal Polish urea fertilizer factory today. A state of the earth technology are installed to run the factory smoothly while skilled manpower have already been prepared through a proper training by the foreign experts since the project inception. Construction of a rail line is undergoing for connecting the factory of Gurashal railway station aimed at facilitating transportation. The Prime Minister as well inspected the factory before its inauguration. She also released commemorative stamps, opening envelopes and special councillor marking the opening of the Gurashal Polish Urea Fertilizer Factory. Awamali government had started community clinics to bring health care within the reach of people, but the BNP closed it, says Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. However, this program, invented by Awamali, has been recognized by the United Nations. The Prime Minister said this in his address to the third national leprosy conference in a hotel in the capital today. The Premier also pledged to eliminate leprosy from the country by 2030, urging the local drug manufacturer manufacturing factories to produce quality medicine for the treatment of leprosy patient. She reiterated her call to pay more attention on conducting medical research in the country. The Prime Minister reiterated her call to pay more attention on conducting medical research in the country. On the first day of the fourth phase of the blockade called by the BNP and like-minded parties to demand one-point resignation of the government, the, govern the movement of public transport is normal across the country, including the capital. The presence of the people has also increased on the roads of the capital since morning. On the other hand, the policemen are on high alert in the intersections of the popular and important roads to prevent vandalism. Since the morning in the capital, the number of people and public transport on the roads has remained as usual. Along with the buses, minibuses, Laguna CNG private cars are also seen plying. Commenting that BNP is doing terrorist activities in the name of Article Azenda, Awamali Joint General Secretary Mahbubul Alam Hanif said that the touching buses burning people to death cannot be a Partika Azenda. Law and order forces are taking necessary measures to suppress these terrorist activities. He said this in response to a question from a journalist in Kushtia today. He also said that the people know BNP as a political party and so they should follow the political program. The Election Commission has opened a new horizon of the online era in the process of filing nomination paper. Another app has been introduced to provide online voter information. In the morning, the Chief Election Commissioner Kaji Habibullah inaugurated the two apps in the auditorium of the Election Commission building. He said the new app will play an important role in bringing transparency and acceptance in the election process. 
Every person living in Dhaka has a strong desire to get out of a hustle and bustle of the mechanized city, but laser is in the matter for business. So the Shadhinota Shangbadik Forum, an organization of journalists working in different media, organized the newly inaugurated Metro Rail Plaza trip. Journalists working in a different mass media participate in this event. Journalists took a chair ride on the Metro Rail to observe this smooth movement from Uttara to Motichil. The country's best YouTuber, Tohiduddin Afidi, accompanied them on his joyous journey. People from all levels of the country will get the benefit of this development in the communication system of the capital. Everyone thinks that the public transport service will be improved along with the working hours of the people due to traveling from Uttara to Motichil and of the capital in a such a short time. Viewers now international news. Israeli forces attacked Al Shifa, the main hospital in the besieged Gaza Strip. The hospital generator system has completely shut down due to running out of fuel. Patients are now fighting with the debt there. The director of the hospital said that 39 children in hospitals in incubator are now waiting for death. A spokesman for the Gaza Ministry of the Health said that the two children in the incubator of Al Shifa hospital have already died. Meanwhile, Palestinian Health Minister Mayal Kuala said that the Israeli forces fired white prosperous at Al Shifa Hospital. After more than a month and a half, Russia launched a massive attack on the capital of Ukraine, Kiev. Meanwhile, Kiev has been hit by Russian air strikes for the first time in 52 days, as city officials. Residents of the city were asked to take a shelter in the safe places during the attack. British media BBC reported this information in the report on Saturday. Kiev Mayor Vitali. Klitschko said on the Telegram messaging app that uh, loud explosions were heard during the attack, which took place early Saturday morning. And Klitschko said, according to pre-military information, the defense system of the Ukraine was uh, able to intercept these and the Russian missiles earlier on Wednesday. Russia launched a missile attack on civilian chief in the Black Sea. At least one person was killed. They just brought us in through us. We are about to land the headlines once again. Awamalik does not have the tyranny to come to power by selling countries to world says the PM opens Russia fertilizer factory. BNP has deprived people of treatment by closing the community clinic, says Prime Minister votes to make a leprosy free Bangladesh by 2030. The BNP is a fourth to first blockage underway. Public transport movements in normal law enforcers are on alert to avert untoward situation. Israeli forces attack Al Shifa hospital in the besieged Gaza Strip, where patients are fighting with the dead life of 39 children in Sardin. Thanks for being with us to join with MyTV News online. Visit YouTube slash MyTV BD News to watch all our programs. YouTube slash MyTV Bangla, Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telling us 7.30 pm. Stay connected and all our office.